U.S. National Security Advisor, John Bolton was fired by Donald Trump due to growing indifferences on many hot issues. John is somebody that I actually got along with very well. He made some very big mistakes, but he's uh, somebody that I actually had a very good relationship with, but he wasn't getting along with people in the administration that I consider very important. And the rift between the two reached such a level, even when Bolton stepped down, he made a statement totally opposing Trump's tweet. Bolton was no one's favorite and he had previously worked for Bush administration and resigned in a similar fashion. That's why many analysts are arguing that his resignation will not make a big impact on U.S. behavior. However, Trump expected a lot from John Bolton and therefore remained hopeful that he would earn him at least a single deal, which will confirm his chances of winning upcoming 2020 election. Bolton was the most hawkish hardliner and well known for his anti-Iran rhetoric. He went too far in his illusionary imagination and said that Iran will not be able to celebrate its 40th anniversary. This week, Iran marks the 40th anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. And what a 40 years it's been, tyrannizing its own people and terrorizing the world. Iran continues to seek nuclear weapons to intimidate peaceful people all around the globe and ballistic missiles to use as delivery systems. Iran under the Ayatollahs remains the central banker of international terrorism and its conventional military forces are all over the Middle East, in Yemen, Iraq, and Syria. Perhaps worst of all, the people of Iran have suffered grievously. Right now, unemployment is at record levels. Inflation is at all-time highs. The Iranian currency has gone through the floor. So, Ayatollah Khamenei, for all your boasts, for all your threats to the life of the American president, you are responsible for terrorizing your own people and terrorizing the world as a whole. I don't think you'll have many more anniversaries to enjoy. He was the advocate of sanctioning Venezuela government and his maximum pressure policy towards North Korea was considerably the major reason for talks failure with Kim Jong-un. Trump acknowledged on Wednesday that Bolton's presence was an obstacle to negotiating with the North Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un, after the former advisor suggested the Libyan model of disarmament for Pyongyang. John Bolton was also accused of being a spy of Israel Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. His approach towards global issues were always a reflection of Israel perspective, instead of putting America interest first. As a result of that, U.S. failed on multiple fronts and fame of Donald Trump administration was almost fading. Maybe Trump realized, it's not too late and he can still fix many problems and for this he felt it necessary to make a big change within his own administration. Although this is his routine job, but still, signals so far coming out of Washington are positive, and it seems Trump is ready to lift sanction on Iran and meet Rouhani in the next UN General Assembly and take U-turn on many other policies, to seal some deals and move the wheels to a winning election contest in 2020. If you love our news and analysis, like and subscribe our channel for future access to our videos without any streaming disintegration. Wise of the nation.